give us some of the best moments off the field. I know Hack, we talk about a lot, kind of the apartments, but Jason, we got you here right now. Yeah. What's some of your... <laughs> <laughs> man. You can, you can keep it PG, you can go. You can Dude, man, y'all, y'all know what I was on, man, when I was here. Yeah. I lo- See, what I loved about while I was here is like, although like, y'all know me, I work hard, boom, but I work hard and I party hard. Yeah, yeah. But I party hard, but I also keep myself real clean. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I came out of Penn State, no scratches, no nothing. You yeah. Know? Whether we was in the frats, we was yeah. in the man, the way we was in the den. You came in with a little dead. Yeah, I came out with a little like dirty kid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I came in with a scratch, man. <laughs> Coach, Fla- Coach Franklin took care of me though. Yeah. Nah, but we yeah, all I remember about... my pregames at, at, at uh what was my what was mine in the apartment? Dang. 40, no, no, first 4102? Off, everybody <laughs> thinks that Ninny Apartment had the best pregame. First off, nah, Jay, nah, Jay, 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 you, Jay. But you showed me the way. Yeah, you showed me the way. You showed me the 1032. You showed me the way. I was in senior high too. school, bro. Hack came out that crazy ass freshman year, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm with Hack. I'm the recruit coming in senior high school. We go to his apartment. I'm like, oh, shit. This is what college is going to be like? And you know, like, obviously, Hack, you know, star quarterback, woo, woo, woo. The way girls are throwing themselves on Hack, I'm like. But no, you can't just say woody woody woo. Because no. these guys don't, these guys just met Hack, from what I know. You guys didn't know Hack. Five star, <laughs> top rated quarterback. Hack was that guy, bro. Right? I don't understand. It was like. Tell us about Hack. Hack was, was like, 18 years old on Elite 11 on ESPN. Nah, that shit was really right? crazy. Bro, ESPN. Like, yeah, yeah. You gotta give him his flowers. After his freshman year, bro, number one overall draft pick incoming, bro. Like, it was really, <laughs> yeah. it was really I crazy, people, bro. It was that like time, that time was, was just second coming to God to the like, to Penn State, bro. Like, when you think about it. <laughs> it's stupid, bro. Yeah, bro, it was, I I know, it was like security, bro. It was real life, like, just going out, regular freshman. Not really security, but you just see people like being weird, doing weird shit. Yeah. So you just stick up for your boy, like yo, like. Yeah, B. I was an we can't, guy, we can't get into this, but B, B was a real one a couple times. <laughs> exactly. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. But leave it at that, just to paint the picture for for the for the state media squad. But I will say this. I, I genuinely hated that. I like, know you dead did. ass. I, I hated it. You see how red you are now, bro. <laughs> Like, just everything. Like, I hated that. The attention. And, like, the reason, the things that I enjoyed was, like, getting you guys into that type of environment, <laughs> enjoying yeah. it. But, like, really building the bond between yeah. us, right? Like, bridging that gap. Like, still to this day, why we're tight, why we can mm. rap about some of those dumb things. No bullshit. Like, when 3205 had the whole parking lot getting dug up out, and we had lines <laughs> going out the back and the front to get in Bruh. there. Little Mark Allen was... was, Little was, Mark. was with the shirt off on top of the always, table. Always, two stepping on the elevated, elevated, elevated coffee platform, table, always. breaking the glass and shit. <laughs> elevated like, platform. Yeah. Like, that is what I live for. Like, nah, when I was here, like, I loved the team. My, I love my teammates having a great time, and I love being the facilitator of that <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. No, nah, it was fine. Actually, just follow me. A little bit, so, like, yeah. I, I yeah. committed to Penn State. I graduated high school in 2018. I committed to Penn State in 2016. And for basketball, that's, mm-hmm. like, unheard of. Like, I committed as a sophomore. Mm-hmm. I used to come up to Penn State Every weekend, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the I had my license. I said, yo, pops, I'm, I'm on the road. This man was making dolo trips to a 16 year old. It's crazy. That's like Lil Mark. Out. Lil Mark was, was up Lil there. Lil Mark actually was up yeah, there yeah. for a minute. He was recruited since like his sophomore year, too. And I would just tell uh, one of my teammates, Josh Reese, still my big brother to this day. Baller. Yo, I'm on the way. He's like, <laughs> best man. Josh <laughs> like, Reeves, you know, like, man. And, and that helped me ingrain myself into the Penn State community because when I got here, I was recruiting dudes that got here before me. Mm. Like, I recruited <laughs> Jamari Wheeler and John Harrell, who graduated in 2017. Mm. They're like, how you know so much about the school already? I'm like, bro. I literally. It's my lived. third year. I've been doing this year. shit. I've been doing this. <laughs> <laughs> There's like 10 people on the planet. Hey, There's 10 people on the planet who will get that. <laughs> so, you know, like you said, you're in the apartment. I'll never forget my name in the apartment. Yo. 4201, man. And I forget had, my number. And we had a ball. Oh, we had a ball, man. Just the, the, I think that's the one thing I miss most about 
being a Penn State. Was that the move when you were at Gonzaga to go to Penn State? For me? For you? For for like just the team in general? No. Uh, I came up here because I was coming. And, <laughs> you were coming, and they were gonna know I was coming. <laughs> and so yeah. they came with you. Nobody came with me. It was just me. So really? I was on a roll, and it was just me until like June <laughs> of, or like May of 2018 when other guys came in. But yeah. it was me, mm-hmm. and we were going. That's and that's I was, actually like, I was recruiting dudes. I was. Hey, you want to come? No, cool. You, you want to come? No, cool. Yeah. Back until we got three good, three dudes. So I, that's what I was gonna ask. Where, where was the move? For, like, if you went to Gonzaga in DC. I mean, we were a walk's distance from Howard University. I was about to say DC is is Howard literally is lit, lit. always. Yeah. I don't know about Howard, Howard, Howard homecoming. <laughs> Hampton homecoming. Listen, I know DC. Uh, DC, I'm I sure. Was, I heard of Hampton's homecoming. Is crazy. Homecoming is Outrageous things. Like, <laughs> <laughs> You'd be walking just down the street, and, and you just see Taraji P. Henson just walk right by you, like just Taraji. Like, 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 <laughs> Superstar. Oh, okay, Terrence uh, Howard. Oh. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, Empire crew on that joint. <laughs> like for real, like, it was like it's really crazy, bro. And and just to see so many prominent figures and just be in D.C. Chocolate City is just. Power homecoming. We had a bunch of DMs. Especially as an 18, 17, 18 year old kid. Yeah. Like, we weren't even going out, drinking nothing. Like, we just. The shit was like Project X, y'all. Yeah, like, we just. No, no, no. Them frat parties freshman year was like Project X. For real. And having a ball. (laughs) 